see my big eye there. <laughs> Morning guys. So today we are going to be predominantly training quads. Um, we're going to do quite a lot of stretching. Well, I say stretching, quite a bit of mobility at the beginning of the workout. And that's what I want you to do at the end when I leave you guys the same stretches again. This is going to be quite heavy on the quads. So therefore it will tighten the hip flexors and that gets kind of painful. There's going to be a lot of squatting, a lot of lunging. It's important that you get low. Um, so yeah, hopefully we'll be exhausting your quads. So that's why I want you to do the stretching that we're about to do now at the end as well. You'll need a kettlebell or a dumbbell. I'm only going to use six kilo. Right, so nothing too heavy because as usual we're at home so we're going high rep because it's much more likely that people only have smaller weights. Um, anything that is becoming too difficult, like I don't mean just difficult, fucking push through the difficult bit, that's what's going to improve you. Anything that's becoming painful um, in a non-muscular way, then just ditch the weight and just use body weight. If you are doing these things in the correct form, you're going to feel it anyway. So um, let's get warmed up first and do the, do the kind of mobility stretching bits. And that's what I want you to do at the end. I'll keep saying that. And then um, we'll get stuck in. So just do as I do. Oh, I'm going to need to put trainers on as well because I don't want to slide along the carpet when we're doing all these squats and lunges. Right, we're going to go hands on the hips and big circles. I'm just going to tie my head up so you don't need to, you don't need to take your hands up. And other way. Okay, then we're going to take the knee up, out and down. And just make a circle like that. You can hold on to something. Try and get a decent rotation on that knee. So keep it up before you push back and down. Don't just be doing a circle to the front of you. Think that you're doing a circle all the way down the side like a rainbow. And try and keep your hips facing forwards. Okay, other side. Same thing. Make big circles with the hip. Last two. Good. We're going to roll down. The more flexible you are, the more you'll be able to reach through. You'll be able to keep a straight back when we get to the bottom. But we're going to roll down. Uh -huh. I'm going to put a bend in my knees because I am stiff and I'm just going to hang my head and do really small gentle bounces into the hamstrings and into the glutes, into the lower back. And we're going to walk the hands over to the right leg. And then walk them over to the left leg. And back to the centre. Coming down on the floor. Bringing left leg forwards, ankle below the knee. Tuck your pelvis in and then extend through the knee, come forwards. Feel the stretch in your hip flexor and your quad. So they're predominantly the bits that are going to take a hit this morning. We want to make sure they don't over tighten. It can, sometimes if you've got pain in your hamstrings and your glutes, it's actually because you've got tight quads. And coming back, do the same thing on the other leg. Ankle directly below the knee, tuck the pelvis first and then push forwards. Good. And coming back, we're going to sit, sit on your bum, uh -huh. and you're going to take your left knee, so this leg straight out in front of you, keep a nice straight back, put your left knee in and just give it a cuddle, keep a nice straight back, you want to squeeze that knee into the chest as much as possible. Okay, put it on the floor, take your right arm 
and twist, still hugging it, giving it a big cuddle, keep back up straight. And rest that knee down, other side. First things first, just give it a big squeeze into your chest. So you guys are going to do all this when I leave you later on, otherwise in the next two days, all this is going to be super tight, okay? It's not it's going to take long, five minutes. And then take your left arm, hug it into your elbow, put this hand to the back and twist. And relax. So last small stretch and mobility for the ankles before we actually start. Come up on your toe, put your toe at the arch of your foot. And then we're going to roll over on the toe. So if you're wearing trainers right now, take them off. So we're going to roll over on the toe and just give it a wee push into the floor, a very gentle push. You'll feel it up the front of your leg, possibly in your calf. Do not let your toe fall out to the side like this. So don't let your ankle sickle push through the big toe, bring your uh, ankle in. You'll feel it right through your big toe. I know we don't usually stretch big toes, so that's why it'll feel odd. And rolling back, same thing on the other side. Get the foot to the arch of the other one, come up on your toe, push it over, right? If you want a further stretch than that, you bend the opposite knee. See, this, this big toe is a lot more flexible than the other big toe. <laughs> so, yeah, and popping back out of that. Right, you grab your kettlebells. I'm going to grab a pair of trainers because I'm not wearing my squat socks and we're doing so much squat and lunging that I'll slide all over the carpet. I'll be two seconds. Feet. Right, <laughs> this is actually the first time I've worn these trainers. I just liked them because they were wee fishnet trainers. And they're Adidas, but I bought them ages ago. They've never been worn at the house. Um, because to be honest, they don't really go in. Just thought they were cool for maybe photo shoots. Right, so <laughs> we're going to go for a regular squat pulse. Now, when we you know generally that I always say to use squeeze your bum, give me that tea bag bum, right? I don't want this finishing position. I don't want it because we're not trying to hit the glutes, we're trying to hit the quads. So we are going for your, we want to keep tension on the quads. You're going to have your weight here up at your chest or hanging low, whatever suits you better, right? And feet are going to face forward, maybe like three minutes to 12 in three minutes past 12. Uh -huh. We're going to come down, right? We are going to squeeze your bum here, but we're only going to bring it up to there. So we're not going for a full push through. We're bringing it up to the top and still squeezing the bum, but we're not taking, we're not going for the tea bag butt, right? But it all crinkles in. So that'll be the first move. Then we're going for an under lunge. Now we've done this before, it involves you kind of leaning forwards because you're passing your weight under your legs. So we take a decent step, bring the weight under, come back. Decent step, bring the weight under and come back. And then we're going for a curtsy lunge into squat. Now by this stage, because we're just going to run them concurrently, you might be fucked, right? Do it body weight. So we're going to go, now the important, I would rather that you did it body weight and got the lunges low than <coughs> kept hold of your weight and just gave me half. Body weight is fine, you're going to be heavy enough. So we're going to go curtsy lunge, see how close my knees coming to the floor, coming up, squat, curtsy lunge, squat, curtsy lunge. Right, I'll probably hit that part body weight as well because as I say by the time we get to that quads should be pretty tender so right <coughs> let's get stuck into that get grab your weight get a quick drink and we'll go for it the main thing in this first one is that you don't take the 
Take the butt cheeks right through. Don't take them right through, okay? Let's go. Turn that music right up there and it sounds muted, muted. That's not as loud as it normally goes. Skin on here. Ah. Right. Grab your weight. Okay, squat. Feet it. Three minutes to 12, three minutes past 12. Push through the heels. Remember, we are coming up to here, but we're not going like that. So, here we go. Slow and controlled. Squeeze, still squeeze your bum at the bottom. Just don't squeeze it right through. We want to keep the tension on the quads. Think about the quads in your mind. It's the quads that are working this movement. Keep breathing. Breathing and squeezing. Woo! Good. Don't push right through, but come up. Keep going. Keep pushing through the heels. Don't let the weight move to the outside of your feet. Work these quads. Come on. Keep the chest up. Keep it slow. Get up, stand up. Come on, throw your hands up. I'm coming out. We're going to go for the under lunge. I'll be honest, I found it really hard to deactivate my glutes there and make that focus right on the quads. Did get a bit of quad, but something that probably needs to be worked on. And that used to activating my glutes. That glutes probably took a bit more than they should have. So, under lunge, here we go. Easy, keep your balance here, keep it slow. Make sure you give me the lunge. That's what the wee sneaky undos are all about. So that you actually go down low enough. <sighs> Easy. Yeah. <laughs> 
can keep hold of your weight or you can ditch your weight. I'm going to go for the calci, the squat, calci squat, grab a quick drink. Muggy today. So it's no sunshine, but it feels hot. Here we go. Let me move a bit. Keep it low. Keep your body up. Never seem to escape perverts on Instagram, unfortunately. Right, so we're going to go for a half sissy squat, and that is um that is difficult, right? So we do want the tea bag bum. I want your feet together, but your knees apart, and you're going to push your hips forwards, right? And then we're doing a wee lean back like the Matrix. So we go back. Back, back, keep the hips forward. Don't be tempted to go like that. It takes the pressure away. All right, we need to keep the hips forward. Come back, back, back. Push up. Back, back, back as far as you can go. Push up. All right, so we are wanting that clamped bum. Uh, 
We are wanting that clamped bum. <laughs> it's like a hoof. Good, I'm glad you're getting kicks. You can probably buy better content than this um, on... I've got a few pals that, that actually do that sort of stuff, so if you're into that, I would head to their pages. Um, so the reality is I've got a vagina, so sometimes that happens, you know. You probably get a vagina as a face, mate. Unfortunate. Right. <laughs> That's enough talking about vaginas and camel toes for one day. <laughs> We're going to, uh, I'm just going to block this one car. Uh, get ready, um, hide. Right, that's him a goner. We are going to go for the rocking squat, 45 degrees, half sissy squat, all, all the way. Right, so, Let's um, let's get stuck in. Get your weight. Remember, feel free to ditch the weight at any time, so that you can, uh, you know, get the form right. That's a lot more important. Right. He's a cheeky bastard dressed like a whore. Honestly, it's always the ones we need profile picture. Huh? They couldn't say it to you. Probably a wee keyboard warrior sitting in his bedroom having a wank. Right. So. Get into your rocking squat position. Um, regular squat, hands here at the top, right? Squeeze your weight in. Come down, right? We're here. We're going to go. So get in position. Five, six, seven, eight. Bum up and down. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Keep going. Come on, keep going. I should get the quads. Make sure the drop is decent and think about moving for the bum rather than moving for the knees. So you're rocking back and forwards. Oh. Oh. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Ignore me, keep going. Keep going. Ah. Keep going. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh, you can tell that one really gets me. Look at my face. Right, 45 degree squats. <laughs> no weight, let's go. So squat normal. Come up. 45, come in, normal, other leg, 45, come on, woo! Come on, keep going. until your failure. So I'm going to try and aim for 10 each set. We're going to go for a set, have a rest, set, have a rest, set, have a rest. If you start to pull the bum back, you've maxed out. Right, so the main thing 
is that you keep the hips forward. Oh. Right. So we're here, feet together, my knees are shoulder width apart. I'm going to keep my bum forwards. We breathe out as I go back. I am squeezing my glutes into that horrible tea bag. And then we go. Push when you feel you've reached as far as you can go while keeping tension on the muscle. So it's not a stretch. Don't allow yourself just to fall right back. Everybody's flexible, we can all do that in this position, that's not the aim. The aim is for you to push out the hard part. Oh, some of you might get lower than this, that's fine. Two to go. Just keep the hips forward. And relax. Sing the bum back. We're going to go for 10 seconds rest and then we're going to go back in. Five, three, get in position. Okay, aim for 10 again. Hips actively forcing forwards. Here we go. Oh, it sits harder. Oh. You'll feel the biting point. Five to go. Ah, two to go. <laughs> Rest. Ten to go. <sighs> I don't know if people are dying for the workout or dying for what I said to that guy. I can't believe this is a dress like a hoor. To be honest, I think girls wear some really nice clothes. I'll just show up and tight. And also, he's clearly never done me, seen me doing these workouts in a sumo suit. So, you should have said you partially dressed like a hoor. <laughs> right, last time. Feet together. Knees, shoulder width apart. Last set, best set. Push your hips forwards. And back we go. Oh, horrible. Good work, that was good, well done. Oh. Right, last round. Like I say, I'm just going to keep reminding you. Stretch after this, guys, because this will catch up with you in a couple of days' time. I'm actually just stretching right now. Not doing any particular proper stretch, just trying to get the pain away from my quad. Right. Final round only two exercises. We did one of these the other day. We're going for toes, uh, toe twisting squats. So we come forward. We're here, right, in a normal squat position. We come down, turn the toes, come up. Come down, turn the toes, come in. If you're feeling energetic, you can do that with your weight. I right, just hold your weight at your chest. Then we're going to go for a wall sit with a leg extension. So you need something to sit against. I want you to be at a right angle. Again, if you're feeling strong, right? If the force is with you, then put a weight on your, your legs, like a kettlebell or a dumbbell. Now for this, we're going to want to go narrow, right? So our feet are together, but you come to a right angle. And we're going to push through one foot, 
and lift the other. Can we march? Okay. Oh, and that is going to be us finished. So, toe turn downs, twisty toe squats, and a wall sits with a leg extension. Feel free to use a weight if you would like to. Right. Right, toe turn down. Here we go. Squat, turn, come up. Squat, turn, come up. Squat, turn, come up. As we teaching you how to shuffle. Just keep twisting their toes every time. When you're down in the down position, twist the toes. So down, twist, up. Down, twist, up. Keep going. So you can see my toes twisting while I'm down. Uh huh. So I'm not bringing my bum up to change the toe position. Let's make sure that I'm on my heels. Almost there. Almost there. Come on. Keep twisting them toys. might want to lie on the floor and push your pelvis and your quads into the floor and just roll to give them a nice wee massage before you start the stretching or when you finish the stretching so you would be fully face down by the way and just rolling your quads into the floor that's really quite nice so do your stretching and then go for the wee roll Oh, that guy tried to shame me for camel toes really annoyed me. Like, what, you shame a woman for breastfeeding? What am I, what am I meant to do? Do you know what I mean? Tape it up. Women have got vaginas, and it's probably why he'll never be near one. But, eh, uh, I'll let you guys go. And this will be posted on my YouTube forever. If you ever want to go over this one again. And I'll speak to yous later on. Um, you should never be shamed for having a vagina. That's the takeaway from this particular life. Girl power. <laughs>